got to be going down soon. Let's... Like, how are... How is this not... There we go. Come on. Oh my god. This is, uh... This is... Don't ever hire me to build your rovers. Seriously. Like, this is, uh... This is a problem. This is why I didn't get that contract with NASA. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Rover Builder and uh, I'm pretty excited to keep going with this game and I was actually, after the last video, I thought to myself, I said, you know, these first two missions were pretty easy and uh, we ended up beating them with just a very simple rover, but I thought, I wonder if it's possible to make a rover that only has two wheels. So I decided to try and make a motorbike and before we go on to the third mission and uh, actually build a rover for that, I figured we would just, you know, Look at this motorbike, because before when we beat these missions, um, hold on, that's the, that's the trike version, hold on, where's my, where's my other one? Oh, let's just load it up here. Before we beat these missions, we used this thing, which is a behemoth of a rover, but I figure, you know what, let's try a motorbike and then, uh, move on more to a trike. So, I learned that you can use pistons in this game, which is kind of awesome, so using page up and page down, you see... We can control those pistons, and that'll help us if we, uh, if we, you know, flip over. But we can just drive forward here, and you know, the motorbike actually, but it, see, we can just, we can just, hold on, see, no, perfect, look, it, I mean, it works pretty well. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited by this, to be honest, but, uh, there's no real self-balancing stuff like you've got in Scrap Mechanic. We can't use suspension glitches or sensors or anything like that. And there's no small wheels, so you either have these extremely large training wheels on the side, or not at all. But you can see, we we can uh, we'll do we'll do quite well here. Um, okay, good. No, yeah, no, we're good. We're just gonna go down this hill. We're just gonna keep those training wheels deployed. Okay, yeah, no travel to the red tele telepad there. Okay, yeah, no, this is this is going good. I mean, this is how I see all all the motorbikers drive down the street on a regular. Oh boy, yeah, no, right. So, uh, no, we're good. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let's do it. We can totally do this. So, I mean, it, it's kind of awesome. I just, I had to make a motorbike, and uh, I worked on this after I finished the last video, and I thought, you know what, it's not a very practical vehicle, um, but it's definitely kind of cool. Hold on, let's see if we can just lift that up there. Okay, let's go. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Are you bottomed out on something? No, we're good, we're good, we're good. So, I did make the trike version, as you can see, but um, what am I stuck on? What are we... Okay, can, do we just have to, there's page, page up. Okay, we're stuck right there. Okay, no, no, we're good. Come on, get, no, 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 no. Every time, it wants to go back, it doesn't want to go, it doesn't want to go forwards. Okay, well, we might be screwed here. Yeah, no, we're totally, yep. Yeah. Right, so that obviously doesn't work. Clearly the solution is thus build the trike version. And uh, this one, you don't have to use the side pontoon thingy supporters nearly as much, obviously with uh with the trike version but just just wanted to prove the concept again if if you have this game and you can make a motorbike that actually works um no that's perp that's the most efficient way to get down a hill right there uh, but if you have this game and you can make a motorbike that that works let me know in the comments down below I'll post a screenshot or something because uh, oh we lost something oh no that's good right so obviously this is not not useful in this game at all and so i was thinking to myself i said you know what the one thing that that we're we're missing is clearly we just need to look at real rover designs and so in this mission mission number three we've got to make our way through these set of rocks in the middle and i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to smash our way through that or not but i thought to myself you know what instead of using suspension and instead of doing everything you know uniquely on our own let's look at how the mars rovers were built and they use what's called rocker bogey suspension. So it's, it's well, it's a rocker with a little bogey on the back. There's no springs on their suspension at all. There's nothing that, it's all just sort of fixed rigid arms and rigid axles. So I figure, you know what, for today's video, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna build a Mars Rover style rocker bogey suspension, and then we're gonna try and test it and see if we can get through this level. And then maybe we'll have to add like a crane or something on top of it to smash through those uh those various things but let's uh let's get going here and we're just gonna build ourselves a mars style rover
right, so first test of the rover. Um, normally we'd have four wheel steering, so one on either of the four wheels on the back, but uh, I didn't really have room to fit the steering mechanism on the wheels individually, so I might have to I might have to redo that. But so far we've got uh, the steering doesn't really work up here because I think these links aren't they're pushing more on the axles. It seems like the axles in this game have way too much give and way too much play. And up here I've reinforced the axle with like a double axle, but I have it down here. And uh, I think that makes the wheels like super weak. You can see there. And uh, oh yeah, when we drive, it's uh... no, it's not. It's not good. Oh, perfect. Okay. No. So we definitely we have to reevaluate. Yeah. No. The the steering might need some improvements. Uh, yeah. No. This is this is going this is going well. No, this is good. I mean, this is this totally gives us lots of control. Um, I remember seeing that video where the Mars rover did oh, yeah, no perfect. It did exactly that Yeah, no, it just exploded. All right. Well that clearly doesn't work All right, so I think I've completely finished the rover now I did have to add in these two links here So one link attaching those two bogies together and then one link here attaching the front of the rockers together and the reason why is for some reason the axles in this game you can see they're super floppy and an axle I double reinforced every axle and they still like you know it, it's bending here at the steel connection piece so for some reason the steel pieces aren't as rigid as you know I'd like them to be but overall you can see we do have four wheel steering uh, the inside steering kind of sucks a bit because uh, you know it's not very good we have four different steering mechanisms to do it so each wheel is independently pushed but uh, overall you know it does kind of work and uh, you can see there, even then, we we got these like super floppy axles. Like, look at that! Look at the look at the angle on that. It's ridiculous. It doesn't even it doesn't even make sense why it's so angular. But uh, you know, this is very similar to the Mars rover. Uh, you can very easily tell with the way it performs and and how it clearly looks like the Mars rover does. Um, yeah, we might we might have to might have to try and reinforce that just a little bit more. So I've doubled up all the arms. So both the rocker arms. And the bogey arms are now double steeled. Uh, it seems to actually help a little bit. You can see the rigidity. It still likes to, to fold out on the back end, but uh, not so much on the front end anymore. And uh, even on the back, it's not nearly as bad, but uh, definitely still, for some reason, a super floppy configuration. But this will have full suspension without, uh, without actually having a single piece of suspension, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, our little rover there likes to tilt. But in reality, it is allowed to free tilt in any direction it wants. So let's see if we can actually beat this mission here with our Mars rover style rover. All right, let's get going here. Let's do this. So let's, uh, let's try this in some terrain. Oh, this is okay. This is looking good. So I mean, in theory, this thing should never have a single wheel lift off the ground. In reality, it. Uh, it it doesn't even have the power to, to clear this rock here. Okay, you know what? Let's just dodge this. This is this is the Mars rover. Oh yeah, no, this is this is good. Yeah, the uh, the floppy joints are kind of are kind of the most difficult thing to deal with in this game. If everything was rigid, I, I mean, this design would be theoretically perfect. I say theoretically because it probably wouldn't actually be perfect, but. I mean, overall though, it just it does ride over terrain relatively easily as long as you don't go too quick because of the the flimsiness of the wheels there. You can see that back wheel rotating all the way out. Come on, straighten out wheel. No, straight, straighten, straighten, wheel. All right, you know what? We're just we're gonna we're we're what are we doing? This is a tangled mess of emotions. Oh, good, the back wheel just fell right off completely. This is good. Um. Okay, well, let's try that again. Hey, you know what? Let's just go to the far left this time. Let's just completely avoid everything. But yeah, if you guys know how to how to reinforce stuff in this game, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I know it, it is definitely the most ridiculous aspect of this game. You know what? Those back wheels... Yeah, yeah no. Ugh, man. You know what? You know what they say, though? When all else fails and you just can't do it, it's time to go to the old reliable method and that is bust out the big bruiser and let's just let's just rock this level because clearly clearly the mars rover style suspension is not is not the way to go this one just feels so much better to drive honestly like doesn't even it doesn't even come on oh my god is that front wheel flopping out too no see like it'll it come on get out of there get out of that that there we go okay no stop Stop. 
Okay, perfect. There we go. Expend, extend. Oh, okay, good. All right, let's just conquer some obstacles here. Perfect. I, it's so weird how uh, all the all the wheels in this game they like to just kind of. It's almost like if that you were using super large wheels in scrap mechanic. That's pretty much the same same thing we're doing here. We're using wheels that are clearly too big for the size of the motors, and then we've got to okay, we've got to smash through the rocks of destiny. Well, clearly. Clearly we need some sort of a beating arm. Now the nice thing about this game, which I really like, is you can just change the controls by anything. So we can go options, and uh, instead of up arrow, let's go, I don't know, let's go O and then P for the motors. Are all the motors the same? No, okay, just that one. Oh. What, what, what happened to my arm? So clearly the Mars rover idea, uh, definitely a fail. Rocker bogey, uh, yeah, no, it's not, it's not exactly welcome in this game, apparently. The, uh, it, the floppiness, and maybe I'll go back and try and make one that's, like, super reinforced, but, uh, for now, we're gonna just run with old reliable here, as it's now being known. I definitely do want to make a better rover. Maybe I have to reinforce the wheels on both sides, I, but I don't think you can attach the wheel on two sides. I think you can only attach it on the one side, so... It is definitely the uh, the old scrap mechanic, wheels too heavy for the chassis situation. Alright, let's just, uh... Okay, no, it's doing good. It's just... Okay, wow. That, uh, that arm has so much power. Uh. Okay, we're gonna... This, we should have built a crane, to be honest. Oh, oh, we're doing good. Okay, let's do another big smack there, like that. One more big smack. Ugh! Come on, you can do it. Nope, nope, I don't want to go over. Don't want to go over, don't want to go over. Just line up and... S Are you serious? I can't reach anymore? Okay, well, that, this thing's got to be going down soon. Let's... Like, how are, how is this not... There we go. Come on! Oh my god, this is... Uh, this is. Don't ever hire me to build your rovers. Seriously. Like, this is, uh, this is a problem. This is why I didn't get that contract with NASA. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, one more. Uh, God. Oh boy, I think our crane arm is... Oh, our crane arm... Our crane arm is gone. That's okay though, we can just drive into this. Oh, that, that totally helped. It didn't knock anything out of the way, and now we have to climb over all this stuff. And half our rover is falling apart here. Oh, this is good. This is this is the uh, the best space program I've seen yet so far. Okay, no, it's good. We'll just drag that one out of the way. Literally half the rover, it got broken there on the one side. The crane arm is like long gone. We're gonna do this though. We are going to do this. I am determined. I am dedicated. Come on. Okay, perfect. Yes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Come on, buddy. Ugh, just give her. Just don't even care. Just don't flip over high center. Nope, it's fine. Yes! Alright, our rover is half destroyed, but we have made it through the rock obstacle. Oh my goodness, that was the longest mission, I think. Three minutes and 23 seconds. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that green bar means. I'm assuming it's like the fail meter. And, uh, yeah, it, it should have been way more over here if that is the fail meter. I'm gonna keep going with the other missions in the, uh, the next episode, but, uh, make sure you let me know in the comments down below what kind of vehicles you want to see, or if you have any suggestions for how to make that Mars rover vehicle stronger. I honestly thought the rocker bogey would be a wicked type of suspension to use, and, uh, I thought, you know, it's gonna work really well, but the wheels being, you know, way too heavy, it seems to just flop out, so... Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for how to make better vehicles. And uh, make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.